Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share with you my opinion about the Wing Chun guard. And for the first place I would like to say that this video is not an attack for the Wing Chun style. I was a Wing Chun practitioner a few years back and this is just only my opinion about this. And maybe you have some different ones but yeah. So when we see the Wing Chun guard you can clearly see that was designed for the self-defense. Why do I think like this? Because when you go for some self-defense courses or something, the first test what you're going to learn is something like this. So you have a hand in front of you, so you can you have a time for reacting. And from this place to this place, it's not that far. So for me, winch and guard is designed mostly for self-defense but not only yes so for the first place i would like to point the bad things what i can see about the winching guard so the first one we exposing our chin so we just inviting our opponent just to hit us in the face of course many of you are going to say but we have a guard yes we have a guard i know our guard making two gates and our opponent have to pass these two gates to get to our head. But as you can see in the many, many, many videos, how the Winchu style fighting against another style, the opponents know pretty well some secret roads to pass these two gates and always, normally it's just a hook punch and the Winchu guy just lay. And yeah. So this is the first thing what I can see better about this, exposing the chin. The second thing is that we're standing frontal. So when we're standing frontal, we are the bigger target. Of course, I know this is the frontal position is that we have a, the same distance for chain punch. I know that. But this is just what I see, the bad things. It's bad and good things in the same moment, but in this case, I would say that it's bad things because we are the bigger target. For, for fighting. Another thing, in my opinion, is that the winch and guard is designed mostly for blocking technique. And this is good, but in the fight, blocking is ne not only things, you have to also dodge or do some movements. In winch and guard, when you do head movement, it looks just silly, like what, what you can do here. <laughs> because you are straight, so this look just weird. It's not like a more relaxing leg. Like, like this. <laughs> this look just silly. <laughs> yeah. But blocking is really good, but you have to also dodge and move because not always you are fast enough to block everything. Another but things what I can see about this guard is that from this position you cannot generate that much power for the punch compared to example boxing punch so because in the winchun punch you can generate more power if you make a step but in the boxing punch you generate power from your whole body because your legs your hips and finally hands some time ago i make a video about this when i comparing different punches my own punches i use the boxing punch winchun punch and karate punch and actually all of them looks quite similar and yeah but in this case when i record this video was i tried to make them similar to each other so i didn't make any steps so i would like to show you the difference between these two punches so first i'm going to throw the winchun punch so one two and three so this is the one and the boxing punch you can clearly see that these two different punches have a different force. So, so one more time, just with standing position. This is chun punch and just with standing position, boxing punch. So as you can see from this position, probably this power is enough to knock somebody out. Another bad thing what I can see is that this guard is most designed for protecting our center line. Here we are protected really well, but if somebody attacking us, 
from the side this graph is not so good yeah I know many of you are going to now writing that you can turn into the punch and stuff yeah I know that but if somebody going to throw on you only combos with hooks you are fast enough to block all of them yeah probably some of you are going to say yeah I'm fast enough but you have to remember that Wing Chun guys mostly train in the standing position so in the movie called The Birth of the Dragon you could see really nice how the Wing Chun guard looks because Bruce he protect everything what was in the center line but he missed one punch which was in the side and in this movie actually is the most realistic Wing Chun fighting scene what I have seen yet yeah, doesn't matter let's go for the good things what I can see about the Wing Chun guy so the first good things what I can see is that we creating distance look how far it is against normal fighting stance this and this here we are, we are close here we have a time for reaction for absorbing for everything and other things when you're already here it's way close to grab somebody to do some to do some sweeps some throws if you are really close you can, we have to use them and of course what we cannot forget is these good things about the winching guard is that we protect really well our center line but in the real situation not so many people attacking like this so they must attack like this so we are really good with this one we're protecting our center line it's a good point but also bad so another good things about the winching guard is that when you no Wing Chun guard, you don't have to know any different Wing Chun blocks because this is completely enough. Man Sao and Wu Sao is enough for protect yourself. So I would like to show you. You have to just change position. Four. Yeah. So as you can see, the Wing Chun guard is completely enough for protect yourself. You don't have to know all this Bong Sao. Park South, Tan South, <laughs> everything like this. Man South and Wu South is completely enough. Probably it's working pretty well for fighting against some drunk guys who are attacking you in the street or in the bar or something. But for the sports combat or something like this, not really. Of course, you can find some Wing Chun guys who are applying the Wing Chun for the MMA fighting and they do pretty well. But one fighter for 100 fighters is not good enough so if you agree or disagree with me you can just leave a comment down below I would like to know your opinion about this and yeah thank you for watching see you next time